Welcome to the Transmar box plot with ANOVA advanced analysis tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to perform the box plot with ANOVA advanced analysis in Transmar with non-bin and bin variables. I already have my Transmar client open. The first step is to click on the Dataset Explorer tab. After this, you will want to open the Public Studies folder and then drag your Study of Interest into the Subset 1 box in the Comparison tab. For this first example, I'm going to be using the Hotsies Breast Cancer dataset. I want to use all the samples from this study, so I'm going to drag the entire folder into the Subset 1 box. When you do your own analysis, if you don't want to use all the samples in the study, you can drag a subset of samples into the subset 1 window, but remember to only put your studies in one subset column. For advanced analysis, Transmart will only analyze a single subset. After you have your study set in the Comparison tab, click on the Advanced Workflow tab. The name of your study will appear in this window here. The next step is to click the Analysis button on the top left corner. This provides a drop-down menu of all the advanced analyses Transmar can perform. Click on Box Plot with ANOVA. After selecting Box Plot with ANOVA, you will be presented with two boxes in which you will be asked to define your independent and dependent variables. What you choose for these two variables is dependent on what type of analysis you are performing. For this example, I want to compare cancer stages and distant relapse-free survival time in patients two variables that may show some correlation. To do this, I will first expand the HOTSIS dataset, and then the subjects folder, and then the medical histories folder, and then the tumor characteristics folder. Here I can find the tumor grade folder. You can use all the data in the dataset by dragging the entire folder into the variable box, or just a subset of it by only dragging portions of it. For instance, if I only want to compare grade 1 and grade 2 tumors, I can drag just these two datasets into the box. However, for this example, I'm going to be using all three tumor grades. To do this, you can simply drag the entire data folder into the box. It is important to remember that when performing an ANOVA test in Transmart, one variable must be a categorical variable, and one must be a continuous variable. Either can be placed in the independent or dependent variable box. You can distinguish a categorical variable from a continuous variable by the icon to the immediate left of the variable heading. In this example, cancer stages is categorical as indicated by the ABC. If you plan on using binning, which I will talk about later in this video, continuous variables can be transformed into a categorical variable. For my continuous variable, I'm going to be using distant relapse-free survival time. I can find this data by opening the clinical data folder in the HOTSIS dataset, and then the distant relapse-free survival folder. The 1, 2, 3 next to the variable indicates that it is a continuous variable. Click and drag distant relapse-free survival years into the dependent variable box. Once both the variables are set, click the Run button at the bottom of the window. You will be presented with the results below. The first plot is the box plot of the data with your independent variable along the bottom and the dependent variable along the side. If you continue scrolling down, you can see the ANOVA results such as the p-value and f-value, as well as the p-value table for all the individual comparisons. If you want to download the associated R data, you can do so by clicking the Download Raw R Data button at the bottom of the page. That is how you perform a standard box plot with ANOVA analysis in Transmart. After previously doing a box plot with ANOVA analysis without binning, now I'm going to perform one with binning. Binning takes a continuous variable and makes it into a categorical variable. By using this tool with this specific analysis, Transmar allows you to run the test with two continuous variables. To show you how to do this, I'm going to use the Sorley Breast Cancer dataset. I'm going to return to the Comparison tab, 
and then click on the X button under subset 1 to remove the previous data set from this analysis. Similar to the previous example, click and drag the entire data set into the subset 1 window. And then click on the advanced workflow tab. Then you will want to click the analysis button and then select box plot with ANOVA. You'll be prompted with a message to save your previous analysis results, but if you do not want to, you can simply click OK. For this example, I'm going to use AJAC diagnosis as my independent variable and survival time as my dependent variable. The AJAC diagnosis variable can be found through opening the SORLI folder and then expanding the sample factors folder. You can find the survival time variable within the endpoints folder. Both of these are continuous variables as you can see by the 1, 2, 3 icon by each variable. However, I'm going to bin AJAC diagnosis, converting it into a categorical variable. To do this, click the enable button located to the right of binning. A menu of binning options will appear. Under the first option, choose which variable to bin. I want to bin AJAC diagnosis, which is the independent variable. Using the drop down menu next to variable, make sure independent is selected. Next to variable type, select continuous as AJAC diagnosis was originally a continuous variable. Next to number of bins, type 4, meaning the data will be divided into 4 bins. What you type in this box is up to you depending on how you want to divide up your data. For bin assignments, select evenly distribute populations. Then click run. Just like the previous example, a box plot will appear with your continuous variable binned. There are four bins in this example. Further down the page are all the associated statistics and table of p-values. This concludes the tutorial on how to perform a box plot with a NOVA analysis. Thanks for watching.